Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the progressive web app of WPLMS 4.0. So here I have the WPLMS 4.0 interface as you can see. And I have various modules currently active such as courses, profiles, notification, messages. So now to enable the web app, we'll go to the WordPress admin panel. In the YBP section, we'll go to settings. And in settings, we'll see the setup service workers switch, which is at the end. We're going to enable and save the settings. So once you save the settings, you'll see a service worker tab and this is the section where we set up the service worker so here you add the service worker version the app name for the progressive web app the app short name the app description so these default values are picked up from the from what you have set in settings uh, general section and the app icon the default image for all the images which do not get loaded in the offline mode then a splash screen then the most important part which is the offline page here you have to set a page it's not just any page we because this is the page which is going to work offline and the whole of the progressive web app will is going to function on this page so what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, pages all pages section and create a new page and in this page just create any page so for this demo i created the page with the name welcome and you can edit this page so if you have created the uh, profile templates using Elementor, then I would suggest you to edit this page using the Elementor. If you used Gutenberg for creating the uh, profile layouts, then you can use Gutenberg. Next is that we need you to add two short codes, which is the login short code YBP login and the profile short code, which is the YBP profile. So once you add these two short codes, and publish this and publish this page you need to select this page as the offline page for the web app then next is the pre caching of resources so this we are going to cover in, in later videos and then we can save the settings so after saving the settings you need to create the uh, service worker so for this there is a button here which says generate service worker so it is very important to note that the service worker is going to cache a lot of resources on the user's browser in order for the web app to signal that the caches need to be updated. We are using this version here. So whenever you're going to change this version, you have to click on the generate service worker link. So that whenever user opens the uh, site, their service workers get updated right so let's see what all magic is going to happen when you enable the service worker so when you enable the service worker so this is the welcome page i'll just show you the url so you can see that this is the localhost installation and this is the welcome page that i have here so if you go towards right you'll see a plus icon so this is the uh, icon which is signaling the browser that this is a web app and here you'll see the uh, message install vibe app so the app name it is picking from the app name in the uh, service worker configuration so we're going to click on this button and it says to install the app and when we install the app so this is this is the browser on the back side and here this is the desktop app which opens here and as you can see it has the exact interface as that of uh, 
so if I just log out from WordPress. So this app is going to only work on the uh, welcome page. No other page is going to open here. So as you can see, so, so this part of the site, which we created right now, that is the welcome page is now the web app. And you can pretty much use it like an app. And if I just show you my and in in the uh, in my desktop it is shown as the chrome chrome app so again this the all the icons that it is picking it is picking from the configuration file which is uh, which we have set here so let's just see how does this does this uh, work in the offline mode <coughs> so once we have installed the app it is always going to show the icon to open this link in the uh, in the vibe app in the app which is already installed when we open the welcome page so let's just make this page let's see how does this page open in the offline mode so i'll just enable the offline mode and it is going to show the notification that we are no longer connected to the internet and now if i reload okay so just to show you how what actually I mean if we do a Google search and in the uh, and we perform the same method that we go to the application and we say offline and then we search for something it is going to show no internet but here when I enable the offline it opened this page which was very fast and and you can see all the interface elements that we already opened are opening pretty fast because this is preloaded data which is coming from the browser itself so the whole uh, user experience um, is improved by a lot so same thing we can test in our web app so here i have disabled the uh, local server as you can see and the app is still going to function just like the offline mode so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching